Well, howdy. I bet you a lot of you have been thinking, what's been going on with a diamond in the rough? Well, here she is. The old girl is serving me well. Let's take her for a ride and I will fill you in on what's been happening with the 1978 Lincoln Continental Mark V Diamond Jubilee Edition. an American luxury old-school style so here's what's been happening with the diamond in the rough the answer is very simple I've been driving it and actually my son and I have been driving it because last time we checked in on the car we had just gotten collector plates and we've gotten it insured so now the diamond Jubilee is completely street legal which doesn't mean of course it's completely street worthy there are some issues with this wonderful American classic, uh, namely the steering, which uh, has a little bit of play, as you can see. Better than the Honda Pilot we tested the other week. No, 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 just kidding. I had to get that in for all you Honda fanboys. Um, the window over there is uh, stuck down. The air conditioner doesn't work, but now that it's gotten cold, it doesn't really matter because you don't really need it. The heater does work. The stereo works, but only the back speakers. And you know, you get used to that. It's nice having music behind your head. Uh, there are some more serious issues. Uh, the master brake cylinder is in desperate need of replacement. Uh, and of course, the car from the outside looks a bit, shall we say, well-worn. <laughs> but the fact is, we've been driving it, and that's what a car needs. The worst thing you can let happen to a car is just have it sit, as you know by the fact that we let this sit for such a long time. But now that we're driving it, the fluids get used, the car gets appreciated, and it just becomes an everyday driver. And that's great because, you know, I love driving this thing. It's so much fun. There is one downside to the Lincoln, and that is it permeates with a bit of a smell of gasoline. I think some of the old fuel lines are probably in need of replacement. So make that two things I need to get changed, master brake cylinder and fuel lines. That's probably more urgent than the master brake cylinder, actually. Probably a good thing we have that window that doesn't quite close. <laughs> feeling sometimes you have a car that you're not that concerned about the other great thing about this vehicle is that every time I drive it I am the only one that is driving a Lincoln Continental as far as I can tell at least a mark 5 you don't see this car coming and going now the reason we haven't done anything to it in terms of restoration is it's the end of the year and that means that all the new car models are coming out so there are a whole bunch of new 2014s that have just been introduced and I've been out of town quite frankly I've been Chevy Equinoxes, because you know what? They don't know what life is. 
is until you ride American style. 